Hey everyone, Michael Bodner here, coming to you live with another Tesla Tunity. Today I'm on location in a special area at a special event, uh, but before I get to that, I kind of want to set the scene for you. You can see a kind of a Star Wars graffiti scene behind me. Actually, there's graffiti everywhere. This is the old garment district down in Miami. Um, the area is now called Wynwood, and it's kind of gone through a revitalization through the street art culture and scene. So every year uh, in December, all the street art you see, this Star Wars scene will be gone. Something will be in its place uh, here with the Tesla. And we're at a special event, like I said, it's actually the VIP Jaguar I-Pace event. Hopefully they're gonna let me take my camera in, we'll see. Um, but this will be my first drive, first look at the car in person. I wanna take you along with me. Like I said, I'm gonna try to bring my camera in and take you along for the journey. So I hope you enjoy. And uh, if not, either way, I'll let you know how the, uh, how the event goes and we'll kind of wrap up in a summary at the end. So uh, come along with me and we'll, we'll see what we see. So we're going to go out here. The first few gates that we do are warm-up gates, so we get three warm-up gates. The gist is to try to be as centered as you can through all these gates with the nose of the car. And then the shortest amount of distance you could use is the best, um, give you the best point score. So this is the second gate. We're going to go over here to the third gate. And once we get over here, we're going to start accelerating, getting ready for this run. Back over here. I can't believe we're in an SUV right now. All-wheel drive. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, we gotta go back over here. Yeah, <laughs> messed up. So about 12 gates makes up a circuit, and then you get the overall time. I didn't do very good that time. I messed. I made one mistake, and that oh, kind of so screwed cool. it up. But um, yeah, it's you know 512 pound feet of torque, almost 400 horsepower. Pretty, pretty spectacular car. Um, you know, it's just super compliant as far as the handling and overall. Uh, you know, 
agility of it, as you can see. I mean, these are tight turns and everything. Yeah. It's just turning on a dime without breaking traction a lot, you know? So pretty, pretty cool. Thank you very much. Thanks for riding along. Appreciate it. All right. All right, so there you have it. That's the Jaguar Electrifies Miami event down in Wynwood. Uh, we checked out the I-PACE and uh, I had some time to reflect on it during my drive home back in my Model 3. And um, here are a couple thoughts I have. So first of all, is it a Tesla killer or a Tesla compliment? Uh, I believe it's a Tesla compliment, but that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. We want more and more and more of these compliments we want more electric cars on the road. So I think Jaguar has done something great and um, I'm really excited about that. Now, my overall impressions about the event, as you saw in the video, um, we started out going through, take a look at all these gas cars we have. And uh, to be honest, I wasn't sure if they were gonna be taking things seriously with electrification and the I-PACE from how the event started. I, I really wasn't sure what they were trying to accomplish. It was cool, the, the theming was very hip, very, very cool, um, but, they kind of paraded us through gas car after gas car that I honestly wasn't interested in seeing. And then finally they brought us into the iPace room, showed us all different configurations, different things, including a doggy ramp, which I thought was kind of neat. Um, so my overall impression of the vehicle, they, obviously we got out there, got to drive it firsthand. First I did a road test, got to experience the instant torque factor. It's there. One pedal driving is also there. The regen is great. Um, so overall impressions of the vehicle, I really liked it. Uh, my only thing I didn't love was probably uh, limited visibility out of the back window. But uh, beyond that, the car just drove fantastic. Then we went over to the test track and um, got to go with a professional driver around the track, which was a great perspective to be in the passenger seat, see how the thing could handle. As you saw, the camera was all over the place, just trying to hold it still. 
Um, obviously, I couldn't put a, a GoPro mount in the uh, in the test drive car, but um, I was shocked that I was in an SUV. The handling was fantastic. Uh, so really, just just a great compliment to Teslas out there. I, I think we're going to see a lot of these cars on the road here starting pretty soon. Now, my overall impression. I like a minimalist um, interior, so this car had buttons just all over the place. Um, I'm sure you get used to everything, um, much like the Model 3 was a change with the center screen for me, um, but really just, just complicated buttons and dials and screens in multiple locations. It was a lot. Um, I think that this car, like I said, it's a good compromise. Anyone who's looking to get into an electric car but kind of likes a traditional car, uh, this could definitely be the car for them. But uh, but I, for me, a little too busy on the interior. Um, beyond that, obviously it's, it supports level two charging, so there's no supercharger network. I believe it does take DC fast charging, um, but you know, tough to plan your road trips around a network of fast chargers. Uh, they're just not there unless you're looking at a Tesla. So overall impression though, I, I mean, if I was told, hey, drive this car, um, this is what you're going to be driving for the next couple of years. I, I would like it. I, I, I definitely thought it was it was a great car. Um, the only other thing I'd say that's missing out um, is no autopilot or no, nothing close to autopilot. Um, I drive home and navigate on autopilot. Probably had the car drive me home 96% of the way for 50 miles or so. And, and that was just fantastic. Um, the last impression I'll leave is that the event itself was very, very, very focused on technology. And uh, the car certainly has a complimentary app for iOS and Android, but I was kind of shocked at how ancient looking um, or archaic the mobile app was. The functions were somewhat limited and um, the responsiveness of the app was pretty slow and it just didn't look fresh and modern. Obviously that can evolve over time, but that was a little bit odd. But um, Moral of the story is this is a great electric vehicle out there. Uh, if I was looking to buy an SUV in that price range, I would still be looking at the Tesla Model X personally. But again, the more electric cars we see on the road, the better. And, um, and I think that this is a, a pretty good hit. Um, not a bad compliment to, uh, to Tesla. Certainly Jaguar, Jaguar did take it seriously. Um, the car itself is designed well. They had people who knew what they were talking about um, you know, on the test drives, making sure people who weren't familiar with electric cars, talking about regen, one pedal driving, and of course, showcasing the instant torque and the fun factor of driving it. So really great event. Um, was glad to uh, have that invite from Jaguar to go check it out. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you on the next one, everyone. If you like this video and want to see more videos like it, please remember to subscribe to my channel and always like or comment um, down below. I try my best to get back to everyone as quickly as possible with any feedback you have, any ideas for other videos you'd like to see. Uh, I'm glad to share thoughts, knowledge, or um, shoot any videos that you all are interested in. So, so please consider leaving me a comment on my videos. And if you're buying a new Tesla and you'd like to, to get six months of free unlimited supercharging, you can use my referral code, which is Michael34469, and that will get you unlimited supercharging for six months on any new Tesla purchase. If you're going to be configuring online, you can click on the link down below, and that will take you right to the order page with the referral code plugged in. It'll take care of everything for you automatically.